Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hexes Force. Since last time, I made my way back to the uh, kitchen in Gulch Fort. Sounds vulgar. I can just feel my body tingling. No, no, but uh, yeah, we ought to give him the fragrant oil there. What are you going to do with that oil? Don't answer that, viewers. <laughs> Apparently... Cecilia likes it when the lichen's wolf. Or woof. Whatever. <laughs> Evil eyes of orange by gore? No. No. Maybe she's into a teenage wolf. No. No, that's another movie. But anyway, so we got the knife there, but... We want to talk to this guy on the way out. Sure, why not? But you see that from all the way over here? Oh, okay. You're gonna steal it? Oh, uh, sure, why not? What does the spirit beacon do anyway? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Well, okay. But yeah, this item in the trading sequence is unique to Cecilia's path. So if you're looking for an item uh, to fill out your item list, uh, well, that's one of the ones that you can only get on Cecilia's path, not Levant's path, even though he has a trading sequence himself. Okay, I thought I'd just skip over to the left side of the basement of Gulchfort because, well, there's something else we can do here now. You gotta do it now, by the way. If you wait until later to do it, you can never do it. See, we're at now now. Everything that is happening now is happening now. So, we want to talk to this guy, now. Wow. Oh, it's just a little bunny rabbit. Oh. <laughs> now. Now. So, are we going to kill these bunnies? Oh. Well, what are you doing in the army, then? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, sure, we'll help you out. And for taking on this side quest, we unlock the Denmail Highway area. So, let's take a look at that. So, yeah. Yeah, another uh, side quest area for Cecilia. But it has more storyline implications for Levant there. So, let's get out of here then. Okay, we're back. So now what I want to do is let's head on over to Grenade Cavern. Even though we did do stuff there the last chapter, well, now that we're in Chapter 5 or Phase 5, whatever you want to call it, well, there's someone else here. Oh, wait, uh, wrong button. Oh, did I, uh, no, I did not. Okay, I was going to say, did I have the discerning specs equipped? But no, no, we do not. So, oh well. I'm not going to stop just for that one harvest point there. Whoa! Yeah, now that we're in Chapter 5, that guy's there, but I gotta get, lose this guy. Ah, oh, crap! Caught me in the corner. Ah, the corner! Okay, let's just fast forward to this fight. I feel stronger. Uh, fast forwarding in Hexus Force is so good. I just don't do it on screen, so, usually, so because I want... Well, you guys to see what's going on here. I mean, if you've played the game before, you know, but if you haven't, well, I want you guys to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, we, we might want to try and put them back together. Oh, yeah, probably not. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, okay. So yeah, remember all those fragments that we got from the monoliths earlier in the game? Well, this is the side quest that you can use them for. I mean, it's not really a side quest, like you get it in your log there. It's basically just the guy standing here who, if you give some fragments to him, then he gives you stuff in return. Nothing extraordinary, but, well, it's there. You might as well do it. I just went out of my way to get all the uh, fragments, or monolith fragments, because, well, I wanted to show this to you. But if... You don't have the patience to get them. I totally understand. And really, it's not that extraordinary, the rewards that you get from them. So, I just figured I'd show you those. 
But yeah, the reward you get for each uh, fragment you give him is dependent on well, whatever color it is. So you could just do the same one over and over and over again and get more and more rewards if you really wanted to, but... Okay, so that's everything we can do there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on looking out for more of those monolith fragments, but uh, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. So let's see, where do I want to go? The Spirit Forest. Okay, so we're back at the Sacred Tree here. Nuts. Still can't get the rare item from that one. Not that it's a big deal, but I do want to donate some more force points to the tree here, and then I'll meet you outside. I'm gonna do a harvest run. Okay, we're back. Finished the harvest run at Lake Soleil. So, let's head on back here, and now let's fight some more battles at the arena here. Again, we could have done this earlier, but I figured, you know what, let's do one rank per chapter. I think that's a fair deal. Well, for most chapters. But anyway, yeah, because the higher ranks, well, the higher rank you get to, the more useful the rewards will be. So, let's get ready to rumble! Uh-oh, we got a lot back there. That's the floating purple guy there. You want to kill him really, really quickly. So, let's use a Radiant Strike because he's weak to light. Ooh, barely able to kill him. I think he has about 1100 HP or so, if I recall correctly. I'd use Aerial Cleave, but I don't want to risk him possibly missing. Because uh, Earthquake will almost never miss. Aerial Cleave is fine. Yeah, dire Assault's not bad either for Raphael. It's like uh, Frog Squash and Chrono Trigger, except it's actually remotely useful during normal combat. I mean, you don't have to, like, really go out of your way to make it useful. It's actually really, really good. So, all right. Okay, well, now that we're done with that. Oh, by the way, if you haven't fed the dying youth up to getting the ultimate recipe, you should do that now. Okay, we're back at the spirit forest once again, and we gotta donate some more forest points to the tree there. We gotta get it up to 32,500 in order to get our next and final reward from this side quest there. Okay, we're back. Let's do another battle here. And uh, what I'm doing also is I fought uh, four of those Imperial soldiers off screen to get more royal liquids, but also to reset the side quests like the tree and uh, well, the arena. And also the harvest runs at Lake Soleil. So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing, okay, donate some force points to the tree, then uh, do a harvest run at Lake Soleil, then uh, fight another battle at the arena, and then fight four Imperial soldiers, so that way you can reset those side quests, or respawn them. Not to mention, you can win some more Royal Liquids from them, so I think that's a pretty good deal. You gotta, uh, if you want to get Royal Liquids from them, you gotta do it now, because if you wait until later in the game, they will become a lot harder for you to acquire. Not so much on Cecilia's path, but, uh, definitely on Levan's path. They're much more difficult to acquire. Eh, so far, the rewards, not so good. Next battle here, much better. So, but we'll get to that, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. So, okay, let's head on back to the Spirit Forest then, and... Fight some more of those Imperial soldiers to reset the side quests. Okay, this will be the last one I do today. Nuts! I'm really hoping to show you that rare draft that you can get from that thing. Again, not very important, but... Well, it's there. Don't need some force points. Okay, we're back at the Dragon's Abyss again for the final battle of the C rank. So yeah, there's three battles per rank. Well, most ranks. You'll see. We'll, we'll get to that part soon enough here. Soon enough. But I do want to fight one more battle here. To uh, unlock the B rank. Oh! That is a huge ass sight you got there, pal. Don't fear the Reaper. For boss time! Oh, two bots? 
I'm totally unprepared for two. You leave me no choice! You leave me no choice, even though you're just sitting on your ass waiting for me to attack you. But that's okay. Well, yeah, that's what it's designed to do. Yeah, we want to take out those lots, the purple imp guys there, or little demons, because if you don't, then they can use some really nasty attacks that, like, blind your party, or uh, use lightning over and over and over again. Like the uh, trickster in Final Fantasy IV, Little Murderer, whatever version of Final Fantasy IV you're playing. But anyway, yes, for completing the that battle, we get the scanning specs, which not only have a function in battle, but they also unlock the in-game bestiary on the title screen there. So, that's pretty nice. Unfortunately, we can't do that until later in the game. I mean, we have access. I mean, we've unlocked it, but we don't have access to it yet. So, oh well. But before going to Altair, let's go do that little bunny side quest that we got going on over here. So let's see. This is basically the uh, Midday Highway for Levan's Path. So, get some glowing liquids. Awesome. And let's get back to the Lucky Lenses so I can keep winning some rare drops. Yeah, this area is pretty short too. Like Midday Highway. Hey, get back here! Put a leash up. Shove a leash up your ass! Okay, we got that foresight there, but. Huh? Oh, there it is. It's like, wh where's the treasure? I, I didn't see the treasure chest there at first. Whoops. But, alright, it's boss time! This battle should be pretty easy. Uh, all of them are red aspect, so Earthquake... Well, Earthquake would have been real good if they didn't seal away his magic, but, well, now he did. So. Yeah, basically, uh, he got afflicted with the seal status. It's kind of like silence. So it prevents you... It prevents you from using your Ragnafact abilities, uh, except for the most basic ones. So basically, you can only attack, which is bad but you use you usually won't run into that it usually isn't a problem so we'll be fine but you could cure it if you really wanted to yeah this area is well, just a bit of a circle I guess pretty easy to find your way around scan here to reveal some hidden treasures Ooh, nice Man, this really reminds me of the end of Midday Highway. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get out of there. Yeah, I don't want to get high on the gas. That, that would probably be a bad idea. Night, night gas. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, now the monster we're looking for is in this little area here, but before we do that... Before we fight it, let's go grab some treasure and harvest points. Ooh, a lot of tears. That's the rare item that you can get at the Spirit Forest in that forest water part that I just haven't gotten yet, just so you know. But anyway, okay, so we want to walk around the monster because I don't want to fight him just yet. He has a rare drop that I want to get, and I want to save before I do that. So let's do that. Okay, so, let's harvest just a little more, and let's see, okay, let's save before, oh wait, no, did I equip, no I didn't, okay, good, good, okay, good thing I remembered, yeah, you want to have those lucky lenses to win this rare draft that I want to get, so, okay, now let's finish our business here, we could have done this first, but, well, there's a good reason why I didn't want to uh, challenge this guy yet. Okay, let's go. Hmm, is that the monster he, he was talking about? Yeah. How hard could it possibly be? Whoa! Oh, it's just a little bunny rabbit for boss time against the bull boats. 
Now with this guy, you want to kill him without a fire, uh, bolt, or void attack in order to get a uh, common drop that he can get, or he can drop. So let's Earthquake him. Earthquake is pretty much your best way to go because it's not one of those four elements and it strikes his aspect weakness. So let me, let's hope I get the rare drop. Damn it! Okay, well I didn't get it, so I'm gonna reload and try again. Victory is ours. Oh, uh, well I got the rare drop, but do I want to keep this? Yeah, I'll keep it. Whatever. I was gonna say I didn't get the spotted skin that you can get for killing him without fire. Bolt or Void, but the Spotted Skin is the one you really want. Or, wait a minute. The one we got is the one we really want. Yeah, that might be a good idea. What was the other one that I could get from him? Oh, I'm trying to remember what that one was. There, there's two... Serpent Skin, that's it. Yeah, you, you could have won a Serpent Skin from him for killing it without a Fire, Bolt, or Void attack. But, I didn't, so, I mean, I didn't get the drop. It's a common drop, too, but the spotted skin is the one that's really important. And for completing this side quest, we get the scout specs. Not that I'm really going to use it, but it's there. I think it lets you view the HP of the enemies or something like that. But I forget. But anyway, if you got enough serpent skins by now, you can craft a Draconic Turban. So, let's do that. Yeah, we really want to get that. See, the spotted skin we can't do anything with yet, so don't worry about it. But yeah, we really want to get the Draconic Turbans for the two guys there, because it uh, strongly resists fire attacks. And that'll be really useful in the upcoming area for a couple enemies, actually. Fire deals quite a bit of damage, but... Okay, so one more thing I want to do before we go. Uh, there's another achievement that I got, so let's go check it out. Got to talk to Bigaboo in order to unlock it there. Okay, how's it going? Ooh, yeah, 1,000 enemies. It's over 1,000 now. Soon, I will get it over 9,000. But for killing 1,000 enemies, we get Decoy Dow Omega, which is basically an auto life accessory that restores you to, I think, full HP and RP? I, I forget. Something like that. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, why not? Yeah, d d don't even think about it, viewers. Don't, d don't do it. Don't do it. I I'm, I'm warning you. But how far can we make it in the lost city of Altair and the floating ruins up there? Hey, that kind of rhyme. Find out next time. On Let's play Hexes Force. This is H. G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.